Hi, I'm Chef Jameson. Welcome to my kitchen. This is how I cook. Let me introduce you to an amazing product, Rivulet Artisan Pecan Liqueur. Rivulet is great to just drink straight. It makes an addition to your cocktails that you can't live without. And it's wonderful and versatile in your kitchen. Up next, I'm gonna show you how I make shrimp and grits using Rivulet and it's going to be an amazing dish. You don't want to miss this recipe. Shrimp and grits is an amazing dish that's really simple to put together. We're going to take it up a notch by using Rivulet Artisan Pecan Liqueur, a little bit of brown sugar, and some butter to make a wonderful glaze for our shrimp that are going to sit atop our grits. I have a cup of grits. I've also got some blue cheese crumbles that we're gonna add into our grits to give them a wonderful savory flavor. And I've got a chicken bouillon cube. We'll use half of this to help add a little bit of seasoning depth to our grits. All right, when cooking grits, it's important that you put enough water into the pot to properly hydrate the grits. My recipe uh, from uh, my grit maker, Quaker Grits, it requires four cups of water for every cup of actual grits. So what I want to do is bring my pot of water up to a bowl before I actually add my grits in. Once your water begins to boil, take half of a bouillon cube and add it to your pot. Bouillon is very salty, so if you have an aversion to salt, use less or don't use it at all. And if you have a saltier palate, then use more. So now I'll take my grits now that my water is boiling. I've also got a whisk and what I'm going to do is whisk the grits in slowly. This will prevent them from clumping together as they go into the water. You just want to constantly whisk. What I like to do is I like to continuously whisk the grits. That keeps them from sticking to the bottom of the pot also. Even with quick grits, it's important that you give the grits time to hydrate. So this last little bit of moisture that's in here is being absorbed by the grits and that's how you get those beautiful creamy grits. Once our grits get to this texture here, they're done. You can also try some, obviously, and see if they're where you want them to be, but this is where I want my grits to be. And then what I'm gonna do also is still adjust the seasoning a little bit here with a little salt and pepper. We're gonna set these aside, and now we're gonna make our glaze and our shrimp. All right, to start our glaze, we're gonna use Rivulet Artisan Pecan Liqueur. I'm gonna use about four ounces. And that should be enough once it's reduced to glaze my shrimp. Notice I don't have the stove on. I'm gonna bring this up to a bowl slowly once I have all my ingredients in here. The next thing I wanna add into this is I'm gonna add my brown sugar. And so this is about four ounces of brown sugar. All we wanna do now is take our time and begin to melt the brown sugar and combine it with the rivulet. We wanna bring this to a simmer, not a bowl, just a simmer. As our glaze reduces, I'm gonna actually set it on fire to help the alcohol evaporate off. All right, our glaze has reduced quite a bit. And you can keep this going until you get it to the thickness you like. I'm gonna bring it down here. All right, we wanna start putting our, our grits together here and finish these on up. So I'm gonna take my blue cheese and I'm gonna add some of this into the grits. 
I'd say about two ounces. And all we want to do is kind of whisk these in. These grits aren't, aren't as hot as they were when they first came off. Half a cup of blue cheese. And we just want to whisk this in to incorporate the blue cheese into the grits. These grits are still hot, but they're not as hot as they were when they came off the stove. All right, we want to finish putting together our shrimp and grits. The last thing to do, and I save the shrimp for last intentionally, is to prepare the shrimp. I'm going to use my favorite Cajun seasoning. You can use your favorite Cajun seasoning, or you can just use some good old salt and pepper. We'll take our butter, about a tablespoon of butter. And then we'll add our shrimp. We could have added the butter to the glaze, but then I'd have to add more oil to saute the shrimp. As the shrimp begin to cook and get done, you'll see that their tails will turn pink and they become translucent. This takes no time at all, maybe five minutes at most. So after about a minute, what we want to do is come and add in some of our beautiful Rivulet Artisan Pecan Liqueur Glaze that we made. And continue to work the shrimp around in this beautiful glaze. We want to, at this point, cook the glaze onto the shrimp. If you put the glaze on the shrimp at the very end, then you're going to overcook the shrimp trying to get the glaze to set. That's perfect. Shrimp are nice and done. That smell is amazing. You can really smell rivulet and its contribution to this dish. Now we plate our shrimp and grits. I'm gonna start by making a generous bed of these wonderful blue cheese grits. And the last thing I want to do is top these grits with my beautiful shrimp. It's all right if some of that glaze gets in there. My beautiful shrimp and grits. And then what we want to do is come in here with just a little bit more of that wonderful glaze. All right, guys, it's time for the taste test. Get some of these grits, this perfectly cooked shrimp. Oh my goodness. Mm. Wow. Wow. Wow.
guys, you can taste the shrimp. You get the beautiful contrast with the blue cheese. You get that sweetness from the glaze we made using Ribulet Artisan Pecan Liqueur. It's an amazing dish, super simple to put together, and I think you'll have a wonderful time with it in your kitchen. Guys, go to your local liquor store and find a bottle of Rivulet Artisan Pecan Liqueur. Tell them that Chef Jameson sent you. I've got to get back to these shrimp and grits. Once again, this is my kitchen, and this is how I cook. These are amazing. So good. Mm.